Cognitive Restructuring Cognitive Distortions Some examples are Magnification and Minimalization Exaggerating or minimizing the importance of events one might believe their own achievements are unimportant or their mistakes are excessively important. Catastrophizing means seeing only the worst possible outcomes of a situation. Overgeneralization making broad interpretations from a single event. I felt awkward during my first job. So I am always awkward. Magical thinking. The belief that actions will influence unrelated situations. I am a good person, so bad things shouldn't happen to me. Personalization is the belief that one is responsible for events outside of their own control. My mother's always upset. This must be the case because I have not done enough to help her. Jumping to conclusions. Interpreting the meaning of a situation with little or no evidence. Mind reading. Interpreting the thoughts and belief of others without adequate evidence. She wouldn't go on a date with me. She probably thinks I'm ugly. Fortune telling is the expectation that a situation will turn out badly without adequate evidence. Emotional reasoning is the assumption that emotions reflect the way things really are. I feel like a bad friend, therefore I must be a bad friend. Disqualifying the positive. Recognizing only negative aspects of a situation while ignoring the positive. One might receive many compliments on an evaluation but focuses only on the single piece of criticism. Should statements. The belief that things always need to be a certain way. I should never feel sad. All or nothing thinking. Thinking in absolutes such as always, never or every. I never do a good job at my work. After building a general understanding of the cognitive model, your clients will learn to identify their own cognitive distortions. This takes practice. It's not natural during a fit of rage to stop and wonder what thoughts led me to this moment. To hone in on the most important cognitive distortions, start by looking for negative emotions. When are symptoms of depression, anger, anxiety at their worst? If your client has difficulties to identify their emotions, focus on behaviors. What behaviors do they want to change and what triggers those behaviors? Think of these situations like alarms alerting you that cognitive distortions are nearby. Here is an example for alarm situations. You notice a feeling of anxiety before going out with friends. Your heart races and you sweat. You start arguments with your partner after you had a meeting with your boss. The arguments always start over something minor, like course. When a big assignment is due at school, you put it off until the very last minute. Small assignments are no problem. You feel depressed when you have to spend an evening alone. You feel so lonely that you can't take it. In this way, you are going to improve your client's awareness of situations where cognitive distortions are influencing their mood and their behavior. 
the more specific triggers or situations they can identify, the easier it will be to recognize them in the moment they occur. When emotions seem to sneak up on your client, or if they have a hard time identifying their emotions, discuss the warning signs with the client. How do they feel or behave differently immediately before the situation occurs? For example, someone struggling with anger might notice that their face feels hot or their voice trembles before they snap. With the completion of step two, your client has laid the foundation for a core tool of cognitive restructuring, thought records. Thought records is a tool for recording experiences along with the thoughts, feelings and behaviors that accompany them. This exercise will help your clients become aware of cognitive distortions that previously went unnoticed and unquestioned. With practice, they will learn to identify cognitive distortions in the moment and immediately challenge them. To put it into practice, you can draw a table. Each line symbolizes thoughts which represents a unique situation. The headings of each column will differ slightly between thought records, but generally they include the situations, thoughts, feelings, consequences, and sometimes alternate thoughts. Ideally, each line is filled in shortly after a situation ends. When generating alternate thoughts, the goal isn't to be ultra positive, but rather to be fair. It's okay and fine to acknowledge when a bad situation exists. The exaggeration of a bad situation is we want to avoid. When looking at other people's cognitive distortions, they seem easy to dispute. No matter how much your friend believes that they are the worst person ever, you know that this is untrue. But when it comes to a person's own cognitive distortions, they can be much more difficult to overcome. That is why they persist. We believe in our own cognitive distortions no matter how inaccurate they may be.